All right. Hey, Scorpio. So I'm doing a singles read, 30 day intention. It's a timeless read though, of course, whenever you find the message. Um, this one's going to be done a little bit different. I'm going to pull your energy to see where you're at to see if this is going to be for you. So your universal message. We have, I am flexible and flowing. I am open to new. I'm open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily and effortlessly. So your, your, um, I feel like your energy right now is you're open to receiving whatever may come your way. You're not going to, um, close yourself off from the potential, uh, new love, right? So let's see what you are calling in. Who are you or who you are calling in for Scorpio? What is their current energy? Who are they calling in? We have trust. So this situation is calling you to have faith. So when it comes to your love um, situation, Scorpio, your team is saying you just got to trust. Trust how the process works. Trust that you, we're all here, right? We're all here. And um, the purpose for us being here is for love. It's it's not to be alone, right? So let's see what energy you're in with uh, in regards to that trust. For Scorpio, what is Scorpio's current energy? All right. Scorpio current energy. Look at that, man. You're like, I know that what I want is coming to me. I know it is. You want to know why? Because I'm patient. Look at you, your angel of abundance energy. This is all you right here. I, <laughs> this is what I'm going to trust in. The solid new beginning belongs to me, right? Stability, Commitment, paving that way, you know that you know that the um, commitment is coming to you. You're trusting that the commitment is coming to you. You're maintaining your energy, your poise. You are um, successful. You're earning your money. You're taking care of your household. You're doing everything that you need to do. And just knowing that, you know what, if the last piece of your life's puzzle is love, you're trusting that it's coming to you. You're maintaining your energy. You got the Ten of Pentacles coming out. This is um, just all, is, this is your hard work in, in, in every aspect of your life paying off, coming to you. That's good, Scorpio. So what about your person? Are they aligning the energy that's coming towards Scorpio? What is this energy? Heart to heart conversations. So person coming towards you. All right. Um, this is somebody that you're going to be able to talk to and really open up with. All right. And share with share what you um, expect uh, moving forward and just really um, not being closed off. This person coming towards you, they're not going to be closed off. They're going to talk to you. They're going to be open. What is their energy? What else do we got? What is their energy? Person coming towards Scorpio. What is their energy? We got um, six of cups. They could be looking for that soulmate. They could have kids. You could have kids. Could be uh, feeling like it's a past life uh, situation here with the angel of the past. All right. So this person's energy. Um, it could be deal it could be that they're dealing with kids. It could be that they're going through or coming out of a tower moment or transitioning, all right, into being this um, uh, king energy, um, success, having good thoughts put out there, um, level headed, um, funny, easy to talk to, right? Easy to talk to, open, honest, willing to share. Okay. Um, but overall, I feel like uh, when you guys meet, they're going to be um, feeling kind of nostalgic, 
nostalgic about um, this, uh, the idea of uh, what the, the potential, right, um, of this union with you. They look at you and they're just like, oh my God. And I feel like they go there why they're having their tower moment. Um, you know, it could be that you're just in this energy where you might even help them out of that uh, moment that they're going through. So what is this person like? What is this person like? All right. So this person, all right, could be that they might, you, they might come off to you as a little bit guarded. Okay. Um, they might have to, uh, it might feel like they're having to defend themselves or have had to defend themselves in the past. Um, just a lot of people, a lot of energies coming at them and it's like they retract and go within. You might even notice that with, uh, this person, when y'all initially meet, this person's a little bit withdrawn. Okay. Um, they could be going through something legally, but overall too, it's, um, they could just be, um, dealing with some of the, you know, those many faces of karma. All right. And, um, you know, realizing, um, the energy they're putting out there. Um, I feel like this person, I feel like they're a little bit withdrawn. All right. Um, with karma coming out and the six of cups, I feel like karma justice. I feel like it, this is a, I, I do feel like this is something, um, of a past, um, life situation. I'm just, I'm feeling past life with this. And I feel like, um, for this person to be in the King of Swords energy, they have done some reflection, um, dug into some spirituality, the, um, seven of swords that could have been the demise of the tower moment that they're going through or, um, have just came out of when you guys meet. So what else, what is this person like? Knight of Swords, so they could be a uh, hasty individuals. All right, check it out. They're coming out with the Emperor energy. All right, you're coming out in with the Empress. They're coming out with Emperor. So um, this is a divine couple right here. Husband and wife, successful team, commitment. This is what this person knows is out there. All right, they're coming in. And when they do, this is going to move fast. After you guys decide what you want and we're moving forward, this is where we're at with this energy. We're moving forward. This right here is like my second card to the Hierophant or the Four of Wands where this is about commitment, teamwork, um, mapping out a life plan and I'm um, looking at the blueprints and then watching them like in 3D form just start popping up and building up. All right. This person is going to be um, a, a, a great energetic match for you, Scorpio. Possible challenges. work could get in the way. It could be that, uh, one or both of you, um, you know, don't have the time to put into a new relationship. That could be it. It could be one thing. It could be, um, challenges, communication. All right. Um, it could be just not recognizing a, a deep soul connection when it's right in front of your face. Okay. We have the six of pentacles. So where I feel like, um, I don't know why I said eight, it could just feel like there's an imbalance, all right, somewhere in this connection. So let's see, um, and, and kind of hard to see the wish fulfillment in this. What What's going to help these two get through these challenges? What's going to help get through these challenges? Taking a break, the moon card going within. All right. And I feel like the moon card, I feel like this is just going to align. All right. With this, uh, two of cups, it's kind of like going within, um, not really, not recognizing it, but then going within and kind of seeing what's there. All right. I don't feel like that's a secret card more so than maybe just taking a break from everything. Um, what will help the hangman. All right. Where, um, I feel like this is almost like where you might feel like it's a, um, where you might feel like things are imbalanced, it's taking a break and, and kind of thinking before you speak, especially on, um, you know, like new turf. And then we have the uh, world card, right? Not, not knowing wish fulfillment when you see it, thinking that something's too good to be true. Um, just kind of closing out those thought, thought, those thought processes. All right. And allowing the new to come in. Um, I feel like this is all to do with headspace, mind space, 
What are the favorable aspects of this? The favorable aspects. So, um, I feel like this, this four of pentacles is coming out and having to do with the blockages when it comes to realizing, um, the deep connection when it's there. I feel like why this is coming out is because this is going to be recognized as a deep soul connection. All right. Once some, uh, uh, inner, um, ref like the Virgo card, uh, the hermit card, um, some spiritual work is done going within, uh, um, and kind of seeing and realizing it too. This could be, um, you know, um, the embodiment of the divine feminine, the realization, the epiphany. All right. This is also about soulmate energy and love and, and favorable. It's like where something isn't recognized. All right. It's, it's going to turn, it's going to, both ends are going to see it. All right. And it's going to be a victory. It's going to be a success. There's going to be forward movement past whatever the hangman moment might be. Um, so what are the signs for this Scorpio to know who this person is? The signs. So how you're going to know this is um, your person. Um, you guys could um, meet at work or around your work. You could work together. All right. You could work in the same building. I feel like work is a, a prominent energy. It doesn't have to be. You could be seeing um, 888 a lot. All right. Um, it could be too that you're just, uh, um, you're in a very high state Scorpio. You're in a very high vibe and you're going to be able to recognize when somebody is, uh, kind of has their guard up, their walls up there, not really super vulnerable. Um, you're going to be able to notice some of the uh, characteristics with this person. I feel like, so, um, any of that may resonate. What about the, uh, long-term I don't like it when cards drop before I can get the question out. The long-term potential. Long-term potential of this union. All right. So bottom of the deck, we have the wheel of fortune. So sudden luck, sudden changes of luck. And I feel like this is going to be a, a feature throughout this um, situation. All right. I feel like this five of pentacles is coming out because every relationship is going to have its ups and downs. It's going to have its problems, but also, um, you know, being there for each other and talking about stuff when, um, something is important to you and not disregarding the feelings um, of each other. Uh, and that's huge, you know, being open and being able to discuss, um, the long-term potential we have, the Knight of Pentacles. So this is a situation that could potentially um, move pretty slow. But what do they say? Slow and steady wins the race. And then we have the Two of Wands where um, long-term potential. Um, this is like, um, imagine a house being built right here. And then you and your, par your person just kind of looking out to see everything that you've done. This is also being able to walk, choose a path and walk it together. All right. That's long-term. That's longevity right there. Um, where pauses may have been, pauses may come and go in this union, you're going to see the path that you guys are able to walk towards, walk down together. So I'm going to roll the die to see um, what signs you could be dealing with. So you could be dealing with Sagittarius. You could be dealing with the Virgo. You could be dealing with a Gemini. All right, so I'm going to get some initials to see who we are talking to. Yours are there, first, middle, or last. Could be the state you live in, city, country, or um, road. Oh. I seen uh, one of the letters. I'm like, we don't need that many H's. So we have F. S. We have D. H. O. And T. 
Now, just because your initials aren't here does not mean the um, storyline isn't for you. The messages, if they truly resonate with you, it's yours. Okay, it's your reading. If you truly feel the resonation with this. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there for you guys. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon.